Oh, well, hello everybody. Amen's Tech here, and today, after two years of me releasing my Activating Windows XP in 2020 video, today we're making a sequel to it. Activating Windows XP in 2022. Now, this time we're going to be activating an OEM edition of Windows XP here. As you see here, so we're going to click on Yes here. And hence, the wallpaper we're activating an e machines version of Windows XP here. So, we're going to do that. To the United States, it's going to call the number. Welcome to Microsoft Product Activation Center. Pour continuer en français, appuyez sur le 2. To help us improve the quality of our products, services, and training, this call may be recorded or monitored, and information collected on this call may be accessed by Microsoft affiliates, subsidiaries, and service providers internationally. To consent to recording or monitoring of this call, press 1. Or to continue without recording or monitoring, press 2. Thank you. This call will not be recorded or monitored. For security purposes, please enter the following number on your phone's touchtone pad. 2 6 2 Thank you. Welcome to Microsoft Product Activation. Now, which kind of product would you like to activate? Please say Windows, Office, or say it's something else. Windows. Okay, Windows. Are you at your computer with the activation screen open? Please say yes or no. Yes. To reduce your effort, we can activate your product using a smartphone display instead of our audio self-help system. To get started, I'll need to send a text message to a smartphone. Carrier text and data rates may apply. Now, would you like to give me a smartphone number? So you can use that phone to activate your product? Say yes or no. No. All right. Let's continue with the voice activation. Okay. Now take a look at your screen. I'll ask you to tell me the installation ID. The installation ID is a long number broken into several groups. I'll ask you for one group at a time. Please say or enter the digits in group one. Great. Group two. Okay. Now group three. And now group four. All right. Group five. Okay. Now group six. group of digits. Please enter or say the seventh group of digits. You can also say start over or say I'm lost and I'll help you find your place. Again. 
Are you ready to get started? Yes. Block A is zero. I'm finished. All right. Now, please take a moment to write down that confirmation ID because you can reuse it in the future if you ever need it. Go ahead. If you need more time, say, give me a moment. Or to hear the number again, say, repeat. I'm finished. Otherwise, sorry, to hear the confirmation ID again, say, repeat. If you need more time, say, Give me a moment. Otherwise, after clicking on the button, is there an error message on your screen? No. Great. Your product has been successfully activated. Answer Desk is ready to help you with whatever you need. You can always find us at support.microsoft.com. Again, that's support.microsoft.com. We hope you enjoy your product. Thank you for calling Microsoft. Goodbye. So, you can still activate Windows XP 20 years after it came out. So, as you can see, here it is. It works. No more of that. Yes, I did set this virtual machine up before, and you know, I actually did get a new PC compared to, um, compared to the last computer I made it on, which was, um, a crappy all-in-one computer and I made it so this one I actually got a new PC I so also I had to put, had the screen resolution um, to my monitor's resolution which you can guess where it is you already know what it is 1920 by 1080 I got a new PC so again thank you for watching if you like the video please be sure to subscribe please consider giving please consider, please consider liking the video and Leave, leave a comment below. Again, thank you all for 1,000 subscribers. You guys are the best. I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.